One North Wales family of self-confessed wasters have travelled to another world for a life-changing experience in Greenland. They've been living in deepest mid-Wales with an extreme green, sustainable and self-sufficient community. Recycle or die! There have been hard times. Fashion, you yeah. recycle things? No. No. As you're having a wee, it just starts coming out of the bottom bit. Not nice. And happy times. I don't think I've seen a turkey with feathers on before. <laughs> I've only seen him in a freezer. I know what's going for your birthday anyway. What? One of those hippie jumpers that all these are wearing. Thanks for tea. Tonight it's goodbye to Greenland. <laughs> Hello to a difficult, brave new world. Do you hear that noise? Yeah. Do you know what that is? Money going that, down the drain. That is money going down the drain. So can the family surprise us all and take a part of Greenland back with them. Oh, wow. I just want to get off the treadmill. I just had enough of working like seven days a week, 13, 14 hour days. You can't carry on the way it's going. The last night in their new home in the Kine Valley near Welshpool for the Davis family from Hollywell. And for one night only at the annual Green Fair, they're burning fossil fuels in the name of entertainment. And after the fire comes the feast. A last green supper with the community for Dad Tim, Mum Gaynor, Fern 12 and Toby 14 and the family's green guru, Steve Jones. I can't believe we've got this far, actually. I'm delighted that we're all still here and still smiling. It's fixed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Now, this is great to dig in, but I can't wait. I've got to eat, so... I'm know. starving. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. For Tim, who loves his meat and mistrusted the vegetarian option, there's been a revelation. Is any of that nut roast or anything that way? Yeah. I love it. It's one, is it like the one like Lizzie made this yeah, week? It's not going to be the same without you. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Pop it in the middle there. I'm sure it'll get it. I feel like I'm at the Last Supper or something. <laughs> <laughs> You could be my Mary Madeline gamer. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm not getting this. No, that's all you're in. It's in that stuff here, aren't we? Mm. We're not quiet. All is quiet again in the Kine Valley. The green revellers are leaving, and now it's time for the Davis family to pack up and return to their old home in Hollywell. Gaynor would love to take the hens back with her, but a small back garden is no place for free-range chickens. So it's time for a final goodbye to her unruly brood. Oh, not long in here now. You can go back to your free-range organic place now. You'd be happy then. Yeah, you'd be happier then. Because you're going home. Oh, Lois! Stop being naggy. Lois, stop it! Michael Morehouse arrives to collect the hens. Yeah, it's been fab. We've had about at least five, six a day, haven't we? Yeah. I think we've been very happy. I think we've been spoiled. We have. Yeah. We had a lot more fuss than they get with us. Oh, they have. <laughs> we've, had, we've had one escape and everything. We were chasing oh, yeah. around the field. Come on, girlies. <laughs> like Gaynor, Fern is also reluctant to leave her hens behind, especially her namesake. I just want this one now. I want Fern and, Fern and Bruno. Fern and Bruno. Yeah. Well, when will I get them back? I'll put oh, different coloured rings on them. Oh, and then, lovely. Um, if you have the accommodation or whatever, yeah, we'll make some. You can come and collect them. Yeah. Emotional farewell. Yeah. Yes. Have you become a chicken enthusiast? A bit. A bit. How well done. I suppose I like eggs. Mm -hmm. Hello, you chickies. Their own energy generation unit is next to be dismantled. Solar power and cycle power have provided a sustainable solution for some of their energy needs. Good morning, partner. How are you? Good morning, Ian. The solar panels are 
a work t-shirt. Ish. Ish. The thing is, you need so much on that bike just to get a light. Ah, well. It makes yeah, you think, it, doesn't it? It does make you think. You know, you think about, you know, one of those eco bulbs which is using 7 watts or one of those old-fashioned traditional bulbs using 60 watts. Massive, you know, isn't There's it? 10 times the difference, so it's 10 times no, less not, work for you to do. Yeah, so that, you know... It, well, it doesn't only save money, it saves everything. You know, the fact that you, even as, as a fit man, probably churn, churn out 100 watts. Yeah, I was struggling to just... It's hard, hard work. Yeah. Well, it brings it home to you. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> That's done. And our house, we can have every light on. And yeah. then I'm going around turning them off all yeah. the time. Yeah. And I feel like I'm mithering the kids, but I think they'll do it now. I think they'll turn them off now. Well, either that or just get them hooked up to a bike at home. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, that'd be intriguing. Get a big yeah. hamster wheel. A little hamster yeah. wheel. That'd be a good workout for you. It'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, right okay. then, let's get on with it. Go on then, love. Disconnect. Go for it. See you a bit, kids. You just sit there, we'll sort it out. There appear to be alien visitors to the Kine Valley. Martians were always meant to be green, but it's a rather more earthly final task for Tim and Gaynor. They're suited up in protective clothing to empty the compost toilets used at the Green Fair. You right, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Don't even start. Where are you up for this, then? Absolutely. Let's see Do the I job for like him. Okay, right. When it comes to poo, where are you men? Mm. Here we go. Here's a weekend's worth. It's just got sawdust on the top of it. Is it we in there or no? Yeah, it's, it's actually it's a bit liquid, but it'll be all right. The chicken poo were worse than that. Yeah. Yeah. So, we, where do you want to take it? Me okay. and Gaynor Yeah, we'll take it round the corner and stick it in our compost corner. OK, go. And we'll let it um, compost in the bin for a whole year. That was quite heavy poo, wasn't it? <laughs> You're right there, love. Yeah. An everyday occurrence, this. Just like unblocking the bog. That's great. Just put it here. We're just going to... We'll let it compost away in the, in the bucket. And in a year's time, we can then just add it into the normal compost. I know, I was panicking so, a bit, because I thought, there's kids around here, and I thought we were going to chuck it on there. Yeah, no, we wouldn't do that. We, we definitely need to contain it, to, at least for a year, to make sure that everything is thoroughly broken down, and then we can add it to the normal composting system. Steve believes composting poo will power our future. Doing what they call, it's called anaerobic composting. Basically, you do it without oxygen, and what happens is it produces methane. And methane is, is a greenhouse gas, you've got to be really careful with it. Mm. Um, but if you can contain it, it's very easy, and then burn it, you can use it as an energy source. Right. So I think the energy of the future is poo power. So come on the poo. Yeah, right. Power to the poo. Let's put it there, get it. <laughs> well done, team. Get on the poo. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll start here then. Right, OK. I'll start here. Okay, on doing it here, it's then. time to take down their yurt. Of course, it's entirely reusable and is destined to become another family's green home. It looks small now, doesn't it? You don't need that anymore, do you? You're welcome, Matt. You can't imagine that we've lived in that little circle for ten days. And not killed each other. No. It's all over now, guys. It's time to go back to the real world. Are we ready for it? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steve, thanks ever so much from the family. It's been brilliant. It's brilliant. Well, really, thanks for being really such a sport. It. You really have been, Boys, you know. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, Steve. Two worlds have collided over the last few weeks, but lessons have been learnt and lasting friendships made. Oh, I'm getting a bit sad now. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. <laughs> right, come on. Let's go. Uh, what did we say? Five, uh, <laughs> she's going to get the tears out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're now an half away. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks, everyone. Oh, the way with you. See you later. See you later. Bye. 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 Thanks a lot. Bye. 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 The things you oh. get me and I know. Steve talking. <laughs> 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 we we'll take them, we'll go and set up our yurts in the garden. Yeah, oh. that'll, that'll push the boundaries out yeah, in the yeah, yeah, yeah. won't it? <laughs> a bunch of hippies friends, in your right. garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's goodbye Greenland and hello Hollywell for the Davis family. Back to a future of non-stop sports for Toby and Fern. Good, again. 
and 550 hours a month on the work treadmill for Gaynor and Tim. So, will the lessons of Greenland become a distant memory? Or can they turn parts of their eco-adventure into everyday reality? A week after the Davises left the Kine Valley, their green guru Steve Jones is coming on one last visit to help them turn their former wasteland home into a brave new world. <laughs> He's gone to the wrong house. Steve! <laughs> Steve, we've gone to the wrong house. You right? see it? Oh. oh, that means the same. You have to get your hair cut for us, you know. What's <laughs> <laughs> up? No, that's for my mum. <laughs> so I think there's loads of things that I'm taking on board. It really is. It's just now sussing out how to put them from that environment into our what, our lifestyle. Sure, and it's a challenge for, for everyone. I mean, people have got to figure it out for themselves, I guess. First job, an energy audit of the house. And straight away, there's bad news for Gaynor. The kids tend not to put the lid on it properly, and it does waste electricity. Gaynor, the lid of your freezer <laughs> isn't attached. <laughs> Do you hear that noise? Yeah. Do you know what that is? Money going that, down the drain. That is money going down the drain. That is an engine driving away. She's desperately trying to keep this cold. You can feel the cold air. I know. Look at this. Condensation on there. Feel how cold that is. I know sometimes it's frost on there. It's supposed to be cold on the inside, <laughs> not on the outside. That's the number one offender, that one, oh, so far. Oh, guilty. Don't worry too much about what's in it, but worry about the... <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's terrible. And Steve has an idea to make a very different cup of green tea. In your kettle, that's quite a busy appliance in this house. It is, this weekend, yeah. So, um... <clears throat> We've bought you this little present. You'll notice there's two sections. Yeah. The bit you've just filled up isn't the bit that boils. That's a bit nippy. It's the bit in front. Oh, I'm going to be the section. first person to have one of these. Well, I think what you do is... Oh, look, one cup. And then push it again. And there's enough for two cups. So if you're only going to have two cups, you only need to boil two cups full of water. That's my bad. Like because like every time you're boiling extra water, that really is money that you've spent that you've, you didn't yeah. need to. While dry compost toilets may take a bit longer to catch on in Hollywell, there is something the Davises can do to cut down on the amount of drinking water they flush down their loo. This is, this is super low tech, this is. So especially for people who've still got a big old toilet system, the idea is you stand this plastic bag inside it and it fills up with water and it just uses less water. And, in fact, just having an old water bottle and filling that up actually does pretty much the same job. Well, we can put them easy enough. That's, yeah, sure. You know, that's so, common uh, sense, isn't it? It is, absolutely. And stand by for some shocking news about electrical appliances. And we've got it on standby at the moment, so it's not on, but it's in, in standby position, and it's drawing 20 watts of power. That's next to nothing, though, isn't it? Is that, that's not even it's it. Quite, that's quite a lot, actually. Is it? A low-energy bulb draw about 14 watts. So it's a bit like having one of those on all the time. <laughs> Out in the garden, Toby's under instructions to dig a hole for a green cone food waste digester. This ingenious little number has a basket you bury in the ground and will compost any food waste, including raw meat. No way I can blag this either. Mid-dig, Toby is struck down with an energy crisis and is forced to take on the role of foreman. I'm not doing it, are you? How, how deep is it down, that? It's pretty deep, isn't it? At least Toby has learnt the principles of energy conservation. <laughs> Fantastic. Would you like to do the honours, uh, Toby? A few onion peelings and some tea bags. OK, will do. Cheers. We shall feed those worms. Can try it? Fern has always spent her time and her parents' money filling up her wardrobe. I've got too many clothes that I don't like and, like, I don't see the point in having, so... They don't fit me anymore, they can go on there. I don't like that, it makes me look fat. But after her experience of freeganism and recycling clothes in the Kine Valley, she is now emptying it to take her unwanted gear to a car boot sale. Stick a party in me 
need to make a little sign. I want it a pound. So this is the first for you? Yeah, this is our like, first camp at sale, but um, nobody's coming, so... OK, well, I have to give it a minute. We could try a bit of banter, that might work. That might That's work. in the way of the clothes. How much is this place? Um, it's two pounds. Oh, can I have that place? Oh, OK, cool. It's like a small... Nine to ten. Pound, two pounds. Two pounds. Um, they're a pound. They're 50 each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pounds. Yay, we've broken even. So we've broken even. <laughs> so it's not bad. Shop. Result. It's going well, but there may be a fatal flaw in their cunning plan. <laughs> two crispy flour. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't like it. I love it. She loves them. For me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm all squeezed into them. Thank you. 50p. Well, I got to check a whole like outfit thing for like Friday. There's like necklaces and stuff. Usually we get go to top shops and thin. The actual necklace would probably be a five. So we might be going home with more stuff than we uh, came out with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> it's not all about making the money anyway, is it? It's about recycling and getting all your clothes back into yeah. into circulation because they don't want to be sat at home. Good job. Yeah. Well, then, Let's shop. Let's shop, Steve. Let's do it. <laughs> right. Can Steve help Gainer to a greener shop in her local supermarket? Toothpaste. So these will actually break down, will they? Yeah, well, I, I guess so. That's what they're saying, yes. Biodegradable means it will compost. Protecting you the could... planet for your little angel. Yes. Your little angel, as opposed to this whole lot of the rest of other stuff, I'm afraid isn't protecting the planet. They'll still be there in a thousand years' time. <gasps> There'll be archaeologists in the future wondering what the hell we were thinking. Uh, really, yeah, really, well. seriously. Oh, my God, that's well scary, really, isn't it? it. Oh, no, I can see your point there, to be fair. Yeah. It's like the carrier bag situation, isn't it? I just thought this was kind of interesting. We're in Wales, where we produce a lot of lamb, so you can't really get further away from Wales than New Zealand. It does seem... Now, I mean, to me, that sounds quite bizarre, because I live in a mountain full of lambs and sheep. So why do you yes. have to go to New Zealand to get our lamb chops? It does make you wonder, doesn't it? He's persuaded Gaynor to go greener with her meat. But when it comes to sugary treats, he thinks she's off her trolley. I know. Behavioural problems with children. OK. But actually, how much yoghurt are you getting? These are single-use disposable. And it's all made out of oil. What, Which, this plastic Yeah, thing? plastic is made from is oil, it? yes. See, people don't see that. They just think, oh, cute, and, and it goes, isn't it? And it's so convenient, you can just pop it in the lunchbox, eat it, throw it away. Well, that's what it is, isn't it, at the end of the day? Convenient. Where is a way? Show me on the map. Where is a way? You know, you throw it in the sea, it washes up on the beach. There isn't... There's no way to chuck these things away. No. See, people don't think of that, though, do no. they? You know, which... They will after they've seen, uh, they seen you on telly, they Gainer. They will. <laughs> <laughs> Bag for life, if it breaks, they'll give you a free one. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? Said, yeah. But there's a surprise in store at home for the happy shoppers. Tim isn't impressed with their efforts. I went out of my way yesterday not to buy uh, these eggs, because it's from caged hens, and Gainer's bought them today. And I bought the uh, the other ones yesterday. What's caged hens? Oh, well, the ones that are in like, all those ones that are all like just chucked into like you know all dead, oh. squashed up and all that. Can't exactly. Oh. Okay, I went with my principal and Gaynor let me down. Robot shopping, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I mean, we're sort of trying to have get that conversation going in the in the store. Is that the stuff that they put out on all the shelves is. You know, the stuff that's got the big flashing lights on and the ten, you know, special offers and stuff is... It's this stuff. It isn't this stuff, you know. Uh, because this is hidden away in the back of the shelf. It's there, but you've got to look quite hard to find it. And there's no... You never get a two-for-one deal on this. Time for Steve to leave and for the family to go green on their own. Bye. 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 Is he walking? Green as that may be... He actually got a lift. <laughs> Four months have passed since the family left Hollywell for their eco-adventure. So how have they changed? 
Are they still on the road to Greenland? Or have they reverted back to their old wasteful ways? Before their stay in the Kine Valley, they were the only house on the street that didn't recycle. This is separating it all, that, isn't it? You could be bothered doing all that. I've got the stuff to do. And now? What I've been doing is getting all the, uh, the bins out. I've got this big bin inside, and I bring it outside, like, once a day. I know, they just took all the rubbish in here and then just chuck it in the equivalent, the old ones over there. But it's no big deal, it really isn't. It wasn't, it wasn't the time, it was just I never had the knowledge to do it. You just put them out there, you walk well, out, you put them in, it's just not hard, is it? Before being exposed to green power, the family was spending £8,500 a year on energy bills. We have five tellies, um, two laptops, three skyboxes, two DVD players, two offices and a fixation. Now they've been turned on to switching off. In the kitchen, we have any kettle, one that Steve got us. In the toaster, you've got the eco saver thing, which tells you how much that it costs to use on any of the electrical things in the kitchen. You <laughs> see the eco lights, the new eco lights we've got. You can reach. They're really, really bright when they get going, but it takes like ten minutes to get working, and it's really annoying. I think it went out. Oh no! <laughs> Toby's got one telly now, cause the two tellies were costing too much. I think something like that. Yes, because I wanted to help out. The environment, and not because there was no room for the other one when I got the new bed. It's definitely because I wanted to help on the environment. But the thing is, he took my TV, so then I didn't have a TV. So my dad went to the charity shop to get me a new one because he thought it would be unnecessary to pay too much to get a new one. Dad's saying that he hasn't changed all when he has. Just turn it on, love. He's put all these in, so, and he's recycling, so he can't say he doesn't care, when because he does. Before they left for the Kine Valley, the old garden looked a bit rubbish. And today, it's a mixed story of the green and the not-so-green. It's not looking much, is it? No, it looks a bit feeble, really. <laughs> um, we've got a plan of what we're going to do. We're definitely going to grow uh, some vegetables. Yeah, because it's not that hard, really, is it? You're just chucking really. in and out for best, isn't it? Chuck them in and hope for the best. <laughs> Whilst the veg they planted with Steve is modestly flourishing, the green cone composter has completely disappeared. When Super Steve was down here, we had to put this um, this thing in the back garden where you had to put all the food in and what have you. It lasted about two weeks. And to prove that they had tried, they recorded the shocking evidence on their own camera. That is well mingy. Look at all those maggots there. Oh! Oh, gee, if, if that's supposed to be green, you can stick it. Okay, put chlorine. Well, are you just going to wipe them? Tim is now going to kill the maggots with some stuff, with some bleach. There was, like, swarms of maggots coming out of it. There's thousands. Really? Millions, thousands of millions were coming out of the top, so we had to take it down to the skip. Yeah, but I've what? later found out yeah. that that was the idea. What? The idea of the maggots. You can't have all those maggots. Yeah, but that's the idea of all the maggots and worms are supposed to eat it all. Well, we're not having that. We're not well, having maggots. No, I can't have that. No, it was horrible. It made me no. eat. So we got rid of that. Yeah. Before her trip to Greenland, Fern was a very normal teenager with very normal amounts of hair products and makeup. I think it's like a ritual now. She needs to put it on every morning, even before school and stuff. All the teachers used to say to me, take your makeup off and you look, you look orange. But now Fern has undergone one of the most surprising life changes. I don't feel that's pressurised to be dead fashionable because everyone else didn't have any makeup on. They didn't care what they looked like. It's weird because I don't know how I can go from like being plastic, like, like I was really, to just being like this now because I've had a lot of compliments lately saying I, I look better in myself and I look a lot more confident. So that's, it's made me like very, very happy with what I've done. 
Before their life-changing experience, the family was supermarket regulars. Do we need sausages? Yeah, yeah, we need to have a barbecue without sausages, can you? But that may become a thing of their past. The Davises are trying out a local farm shop for the very first time. The food is nice, there's no doubt about that. No one's disputing that the food is nice when you go organic and the natural food. The argument is, is can we afford to shop here? Look at the size of those links, though, compared to. Yeah, look at that. Good that is quality of the link as well. That's what it is. I want four pieces of steak. Yeah, of can, yeah. Like, would you like a nice piece of sirloin or ribeye? Uh, sirloin would be nice. For their 12 cents of cream slice. We're going to go for it, mate. We'll add those up for more next week on that. Well, that's the answer. If they're really good, then we'll come back and get some more. Well, what you could do is come here and get a couple of treats. Like Gaynor likes a nice bread or two, wants a couple of oranges, and then we all get a treat. The family's cupboards show how much they've changed, their diets and opinions. Lentils, barley, we've got the old bulgur wheat as well. Yes, that's nice, that. that really thickens up your soups. The bulgur wheat, that thickens up your soups, that's good stuff, that. But in between all that, you've got some, ch some chockies as well. But the more you look into it, the more you realise that you are getting stung and dictated to you by the supermarkets, because you think you're getting a deal, getting three chickens for a tenner, but there's no meat on them, and you don't know where they're coming from. Well, you could go to a farm shop, and um, you know at least you can you know what you're eating. A mere four months ago, before their life-changing experience, these were the family's thoughts on sustainability. 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 Isn't that like what? staying still? Is it to see how long we la like how long we're gonna last, like sustain? They've gone a long way towards being green. And their changes have even surprised the family. There is a lot more to life than having a nice house and clothes and stuff. It's, as long as you're together and you love each other, that's the main thing. What I've learned is, like, it's got proper changed me. Being green? I suppose I'm greener. I would say I'm green, but I'm greener. We don't know what the state of the planet's going to be in the next 10, 15 years, do we? So, you know, if you know, if you, if you know that you've done your bit, then it's a bit better, don't you? And there's one final surprise. The Davises have put their house on the market. They're looking to buy a new property with a large garden with room for chickens and a veg patch to suit their new greener lifestyle. Oh, I can see Miss Alfie. Don't start again. Oh, it looks really characterised, isn't it? Yeah. Cosy, isn't it? Oh, wow. Well. I just want to get off the treadmill. I just had enough of working like seven days a week, 13, 14 hour days. You know, I'm feeling death here. You know, I can't carry on the way it's going. Oh, can I just sit there with someone's night? Oh, I can go. The vision is basically having our own chickens so you can get your, your fresh eggs in the morning and a bit more of the simple life. Or is it a good life, like, yeah. isn't it? So, will it be hello to this? And goodbye to all this. Oh, <laughs> Only time and the Davises will tell.